Ooh, what is up you guys? And of course, as always, welcome back to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with your true of course, the Scarender. And yeah, today we're going up against Jay, and uh, his team is very cool. Uh, we're of course at 11 e first and foremost, so we already know that this is a sticky team. A sticky team, sticky team. And we see Walrein there, which is awesome in so many ways. We see Sangus, which is the premier sticky web sweeper. It is probably the sticky web sweeper in NU and PU, and it's dangerous. It's freaking scary to be dealing with. We also see Oricorio Fire and um, Granbull and Rampados. Rampados actually is fairly decent in PU, mainly because of sticky web support, but also due to actually the sea zones, that man is dangerous no matter how you tackle it. So my team here is as follows. Masquerain, also a sticky team, so it's a case to see clearly. Um, we have a, a normal Normalium C, I can't barely say that, Radicate, because I really want to try that out. We got a uh, Scarred Haunter, we got Guts, Flame Orb, uh, Throw, uh, Toe Cannon, Life Orb, Mix Set, which is an awesome set from uh, Philip, a good friend of mine from the Smogon Ladder is actually one of the best NU players I do know and is actually sitting in the NU console. And standard defensive Mesprit with Stealth Rock. So without further ado, all I'm really going to start off with is setting up my own kind of stick web and see what there takes me. So with that in mind, let's of course go into the match. So from the beginning here, I was actually, I'm not going to lie, I was really hoping he was going to lead off with his Olivani. He does not do that, he brings the freaking... Um, <laughs> Walrein. So I thought, you know what, I am Sash, at least I can go for Stick Web and kind of take it from there as uh, he's going to go directly for a Blizzard, do connect it, and of course it brings me down to the Sash, why wouldn't it, right? So I really don't have a switch into Blizzard, at least not that I want to tackle and see if it works. So I went for the Bug Buzz, just doing the damage, as you guys can see, that didn't do the damage at all. And we see Frost Breath too, so my initial thought is that possibly that this could be an Assault Vest variant, or the worst of all, a Rest Sleep Talk variant. So I'm gonna go to my Eradicate, my Splinter, and I'm gonna send this Sensei on a Blitzkrieg. Because due to his team lacking, and I really can't stress this enough, he's lacking a Ghost type. This means I can spam my C move directly, and I wanna break asunder whatever comes in, and luckily for me, he just decided to stay in. So that's a fucking dead Waylord, I was gonna say, but the Wolverine. Because there is no way nothing on his team takes that. Even Gramble is wanted killed by it due to the hustle. So he's gonna bring in the Gramble. And you know, already I'm feeling, you know, this is definitely gonna be a Thunder Wave set. And he's gonna defensively tackle me like that. So with that in mind, I'm gonna send in my throw. Basically, if it goes with player off, that's better. Because that means my flamer is activated. If it goes with T-Wave, it is unfortunate, but at the same time, if something's gonna get status, it's probably gonna be the facade user, right? So with that said, you know, we do outspeed him even with Paralyzed, but we are fully Paralyzed as it goes with Play Rough. And it, you know, it's up there. It does a bit too much. It should do too much. But we can retaliate now with a Facade. And yeah, boom, there goes the Dynamite. Luckily for me, he does actually miss the Play Rough here. So we can keep on spamming. So he's going to bring Pulse, which is his Ramperdos. Haha. <laughs> and I actually went directly for a Facade again. And you guys can see, it freaking hurts. And yeah, I really gotta sack this mon here anyway. He actually goes for Stealth Rock, which I find was surprising. Then again, I could have been fully paralyzed. It's not completely out of the question, but Stormfrow, yeah, boom, that's the dead Rampados. Uh, Stormfrow clearly always a critical hit. So very, very dangerous with the guts in mind. And now he's gonna bring the Oricorio. Also, you go, dude, finish me off as we see the substitute. And this, this is dangerous. This is dangerous indeed. While we're not fully paralyzed here, we can keep on spamming facade. Eventually, I could be fully paralyzed, and that is not good. And we see leftovers, so yeah, this is this is not gonna work for us. As luckily for us, which he actually goes for Revelation Dance and kills us, which means that we get a decent free switch in here, and somewhere down the line, that's kind of what you want. And my best switching towards this Pokemon, in my honest opinion, was to bring Mesprit. Basically, it walls any hit it can do, and it can actually Thunder Wave it, making it non-issue for Tow Cannon. As it goes for a Hurricane here and Connect, of course, and it doesn't do too much, and Psychic actually will will him down quite enough. Now, I figure he'd probably go for a Roost here just to stall me out. He has the possibility of doing so, or go for a Substitute at worst. But I feel that Roos was his place. As we'll see, call mine. So that's right. We went for Thunder Wave here. We're clearly gonna get him paralyzed, right? Right? 
No, we're of course going to miss the Thunder Wave because we need the drama in our life. So with that in mind, like, he is clearly going to go for a substitute now that he saw Thunder Wave. I mean, I would have done that. So with that in mind, I'm going to go extra for a Psychic here. I need to do that. I mean, fuck, right? This is this is no game no more. As we were able to actually break the sub. It's whether or not he should have roosted here. To be completely honest, I think that would have been the more fair play. Because eventually, I do believe the Call Mine Roost stalling would have worked. But actually, Optimize go for another Hurricane. Sadly misses, and we can retaliate, of course, with the Psychic Care in order choreo. So we get a leeway here, and Sangus comes in. All I'm thinking is, don't be protect. Let me Thunder Wave you. And I do believe Sangus is naturally faster, but due to the stick away, we are able to outspeed. And he actually took this chance to go for Facade, pretty much nullifying any chance of my Arexiu or, of course, Mesprit to survive in that. But we have this thing paralyzed, which is great in case it's fully paralyzed. I'm just going to switch in my Brum Bum, my Toe Cannon, and I'm going to go directly for the monstrous move that is the Brave Bird. And yeah, that's that's a dead Sangus. Now, I am alive for Virion because I wanted to try to mix it, which I got a bit of help from a friend here, and it worked wonders for this match. While I am, you know, a low HP, he's actually going to bring his Gramble, trying to soak a hit against me, right? Well, since we have Boom Burst, I can tell you this guy is this much. Due to us being naive, we are actually able to do roughly around 60% to a Gramble, even defensive variant, so it's not going to take it. Not whatsoever, so boom, there goes the dynamite yet again. That's a very weird catch line, let's stop with that already. As we're gonna see Summertime, his 11e being his last mon, and at this point you guys have already figured it out, we have this game in the bag, but we gotta go for Overheat, showcasing a full array of the powers, as he of course gonna survive with the Focus Sash, and retaliate with a knock, if I remember correctly. So, yeah. There goes the toe cannon, but my god, what a wonderful mon. I definitely appreciate it a lot more now. As I'm gonna bring in Splinter, my Radicate, and all I'm really gonna do is capitalize on the Sucker Punch because I'm actually not fully uh, sure whether or not I can outspeed, and if I can't, it would be very, very nasty if I, of course, fail here. But I'll actually miss the Sucker Punch because Hustle is such a bitch. And he's going to retaliate with a Leaf Blade. Lucky for us, he didn't have, really can't stress this enough, uh, Ex-Sister, because Swan would have boosted that and probably killed me. So he's going to have a Stick Web here. At this point, it basically is waited it out. I just keep going for Sucker Punch, and eventually, we do connect. And, of course, 1 HP, yeah, that's that's a dead level, isn't it? So, yeah, really, really good game, Jay. And really thanks for the battle, if anything. I had a lot of fun there to showcase the Toe Cannon. This battle might have been a bit one-sided, but it's only because of the kind of issues that were in the mid-game with the Oricorio, who could very well, if Call Mine and Roost retaliate and actually work in his favor and possibly win. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this team, if anything, and really, really, I gotta say this to Jay. This team only worked because I got the stick web up first, if anything. Um, looking at it now, it's very clear that Sangus would have been a much more dangerous threat. Uh, they had to stick away on his side, and we actually, you know, we, we get around that, and we figure that out, and we get a massive leeway due to it, so I am a bit lucky here, I won't deny that, but at the same time, you know, this was a tough team to be dealing with, and getting such a big opening with Toe Cannon was probably what we needed to get with, of course, Eradicate, really just denting the start there. So with that said, guys, as always, thank you for, of course, watching, make sure to follow me on that Discord group, which is linked down below if you want to battle me, or, you know, as always,